Meanwhile, Congressman Duncan Hunter surrounded by protesters walking out of court today. He and his wife Margaret faced a judge for the first time, both pleading not guilty to campaign fund violations. Hunter calls their indictment politically motivated. The couple is accused of spending $250,000 of campaign money for personal expenses, including lavish vacations. We have team coverage beginning with our tennis reporter John Horn, who was inside the courtroom. And as he witnessed, the hunters seemed to have an icy interaction as the day began. It was a cold entrance into the courtroom. Margaret Hunter walking right by her husband, Congressman Duncan Hunter, without even making eye contact. Then the two stood together, pleading not guilty to 60 counts, including conspiracy and wire fraud. Congressman Duncan Hunter entered the federal courthouse to a cacophony of chants from protesters. The congressman didn't respond outside and spoke few words in the arraignment he shared with his wife on the second floor. Phrases like, yes, sir, and yes, your honor. Duncan Hunter and his wife, Margaret, charged with spending $250,000 of campaign contributions on personal expenses, including $2,000 for tickets to a Pittsburgh Steelers home game. Add thousands more in gasoline, apparel, and hotel stays, all allegedly falsified on campaign finance reports. Hunter denied the charges in an impromptu press conference Wednesday, calling them politically motivated. I'm not resigning. Um, I'm not going to resign with a bunch of leftist uh, government folks throwing allegations at me. But in a visit to 10 News earlier this year, the congressman struck a much different tone. I trust the justice system here in San Diego and, and in the, the uh, country overall, writ large, even if you have some bad players at, at the top. Federal prosecutors told Judge William Gallo that the Hunters are essentially broke, living paycheck to paycheck. Judge Gallo said Duncan Hunter's bail at $15,000 and Margaret's at $10,000. They'll both need co-signers. Outside the courthouse, Duncan Hunter's attorney, Gregory Vega, said he hopes the public keeps an open mind as the process plays out. The congressman has faced more difficult battles than this in Iraq and Afghanistan. He looks forward to his day in court. Judge Gallo ordered Congressman Hunter to turn in his guns by Monday. John Horn, 10 News. The Hunters will be back in court at 9 a.m. September 4th, right in front of Judge Thomas Wellen.